Uh, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, Kennedy. And of course, yesterday, one of the things that the president really celebrated was that the 26th will not be the normal Boxing Day. And he made a reference to how it's celebrated outside uh, in the other countries. It's a Western thing. He said it's good. We're celebrating it. But one of the things that uh, Americans must celebrate is the Thanksgiving Day. And uh, I bet that's one of the things you want to talk to us about. Well, Ken, it's an interesting day now that you're in studio. We are here on the third floor, and there is a big bird that is just being cut, and it is actually going to form part of our breakfast. And I know you did not have breakfast as you went on there, but right now we are just about to devour this bird. I do not know what they do call it, but uh, we do have the American ambassador here with us, and he's giving actually a piece of what I've just been whispered to is a turkey. I thought it was a bird, you know, a... Some of us come from Western and we thought it was chicken. But, <laughs> but we are being told, <laughs> yeah, there are chickens this big. <laughs> you might be surprised there is even a chicken that is 10 kgs. How, how many kilograms is this? Oh, I don't know. This one was, uh, you know what? This one there was eight, was it? Eight. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. our chicken are bigger. We would have eaten a chicken. But either way, <coughs> Ken, we are celebrating. Uh, Thanksgiving, and we actually want to know what Thanksgiving is all about, and what are we thanking uh, as, as a country? What are we being thankful about? And we want just to get a view of the American ambassador, who has just been himself cutting this chicken and all these pieces that you can see on there. They are courtesy of uh, the, 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 the turkey. <laughs> what are we celebrating about, and why would, did you choose to come here and celebrate this particular day with us? Well, this is Thanksgiving in, uh, in the United States, and this is a, this is a great tradition where we, we take time to thank God for the blessings that we have. And uh, just to take a pause and, and, and really look at uh, what, what he's given us and be thankful uh, for our family, uh, for our job, uh, for our country, uh, all kinds of things. And I think in, in that gratefulness, there's, there's a lot of power in gratefulness. And so, uh, you know, this was uh, Abraham Lincoln was the one that declared this a national holiday in the, in the United States. And um, interesting enough, it was, it was a woman who actually uh, sent him a letter. And she'd been sending presidents letters for 15 years. She actually was 74 years old. She was the editor of a, of a magazine. And, uh, and, and she had sent this letter to the president a week before October 3rd, because it was 1863 on October 3rd when he declared this the national holiday of Thanksgiving in the United States. And it's because he listened to a woman. <laughs> and so, and so uh, uh, you know, for all the, uh, you know, for all the uh, gender balance and everything we heard about yesterday, uh, it's, it's a good story. But why, why the turkey? Why not any other animal? Why this? Man, I, I, can't, I can't even tell you that one. But it, this has just been the, uh, in, fact, it, it, in fact, you go yesterday, our president, he actually pardons, he actually pardons a turkey, a, a huge big turkey and allows it to go free. But with this one couldn't, they, they could, this one couldn't <laughs> get away. And, uh, but it is, it's, uh, it is, it's native to, to the United States, and that's why. And so uh, that we, it, it's just tradition now that, that uh, the turkey is what you have on Thanksgiving. Well, it's quite interesting that you're even saying that it is a woman who sent a letter to Abraham Lincoln and all this. Yeah. But yesterday we also saw the BBI report that was launched, and women are actually celebrating it. What do you think about this whole report as America? And actually, are you guys happy that we have made this step as a country? Well, I think, first of all, no one should comment on BBI if you haven't read it. And, uh, and it's something that I'm digesting and, and really uh, pondering and thinking about. Uh, but I think there's a lot of good things that were proposed. Uh, I think that what we should take from yesterday was it was a big step for Kenya forward for peace and unity. And, uh, and I think even though there may have been disagreements and there will be disagreements on what is proposed, I think the message was clearly sent yesterday that Kenya has to be a nation of peace and has to be a nation that's not uh, divided by tribes. And, and I think it was very clear, too, that uh, it, it, the, the people aren't divided. It's the politicians that divide the people. And I think that was something most of us would agree with, unless you're maybe one of those politicians. 
But, uh, you know, it's, I, I think, I, again, uh, even the, the foreign minister from Tanzania said to Kenya, you have to get this right. You have to succeed because if you succeed, all of East Africa succeeds. And I've said that before, that Kenya can be the shining star of democracy and prosperity for all of East Africa, as an example. And as Kenya goes, so goes East Africa. As East Africa goes, so goes the continent. And so uh, I believe Kenya can set the example uh, for an Africa that the whole world looks to and wants to be like. Well, you have been one of the biggest crusaders of cor about corruption and all these cases and how they are tried. Are you happy about some of the proposals that have come out from this particular report, or is it something that we need to speak about in this conversation and have probably something that is more tighter with regards to taking care of these people? Some mercy. Uh, one of the most interesting is the 5% uh, uh, bounty on, uh, <clears throat> on, on the thieves. Uh, it, could, it, could, it could be interesting. The uh, interest cottage industry people. That's the Okay, a small challenge there with uh, the turkey. I'm glad because now they won't eat the whole turkey while I'm sitting here. But uh, they're still on the third floor. We'll try and catch up with them. Uh, technical hitch there. Um, let's see if we can get them back because the ambassador is still speaking. Um, all right, let's see if we can get them back. Discussion we'll be having this turkey and probably will bring you a pace in studio. Bye-bye for now.